Hey there, welcome to another episode of The Relief Report. I'm your digestive dietitian, Stephanie Claremont, and this show is all about helping you get clear on what's triggering your symptoms, what's not, so you can get back to living and enjoying a normal, beautiful life, symptom-free, and feeling more like yourself. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about... Let me pull up my notes here. Can yoga relieve IBS symptoms? So you might have... Um, you know, heard about yoga and exercise and wondered what the relationship is with, with irritable bowel syndrome, which is IBS, or inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and colitis or any kind of digestive health issue that you are dealing with. And perhaps you've read some studies or some articles that maybe yoga can help. Well, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the healing practice of yoga and give you some really simple yoga poses if you're new to yoga if you're not sure about yoga or maybe you do yoga but you're wondering which poses can actually be beneficial for digestive health so let's talk about that a little bit now you've probably heard me talk about this before where the mind and body is really important and that that connection and relationship between the mind and body is real and does affect our digestive Digestive health. What we know about yoga is that um, it's been practiced for thousands and thousands of years and then it does connect the body and mind. It also helps with relaxation. Um, there's some meditation in it as well as a good exercise that strengthens the muscles and the body. So there's a lot of different parts to yoga that can have a variety of different benefits on our gut health. So um, one of the things about yoga that I just mentioned is that it can relieve anxiety or that it has this meditative part to it. And that, you know, there are some studies, there are lots of studies on yoga actually that show that there is a decrease in stress, decrease in anxiety, and a sense of calmness that's promoted in those that do practice yoga. So exercise is one component. We're actually going to talk about exercise in another episode of the Relief Report coming up, but just yoga as a whole and that meditative kind of part to it uh, allows you to bring awareness to your body but also decrease stress and promote that sense of calmness which is really important for us to connect and calm the nervous system which can act up significantly and really affect our symptoms the other thing about yoga that's really cool that i think is different from a lot of different exercises if we group it together with exercise um, is that there's a lot of breathing and deep breathing a lot of focus on breathing and you've probably heard me talk about breathing in other episodes or if you're a Clarity in our Clarity community, if you're one of my clients or one of our members, you hear me talk about breathing and how important breathing is and what how actually powerful it is when you take those deep breaths and what that does to your nervous system and how that affects directly affects your um your gut health and symptoms and how they're affected. So, you know, yoga allows us to get better at breathing and deep breathing and do it throughout poses. Whereas I don't want to compare it to exercise because I think they're very different practices and I think you could still exercise. But if all you're doing is exercising and running or jogging or doing something really active, you're missing out on bringing your awareness to the body and, you know, doing that deep breathing. Um, and so I do have one study here in front of me, a study by the Journal um, of Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics showed that yoga as a treatment method for IBS actually improved levels of anxiety, body awareness, and body responsiveness. So we know that there um, are some real benefits to yoga, and I would highly recommend that you figure out how you can put yoga in your day. Now, lots of different ways, okay? Going to a class for one hour a week or two hours a week, two classes, you know, actually going to a studio to do a class, that's only one option. If that feels like the right thing for you, then do that. I can tell you, I'm a busy lady, I'm a busy working mom, uh, and sometimes it's really hard for me to get to classes. So if I relied on doing classes, you know, three times a week, I would never exercise and I would never do yoga. So having, if that's you, if you're kind of busy and life is full and that feels like too much pressure or stress and it's probably not going to happen, then let's figure out how to do some yoga in your own home. Or maybe at work, you take five or 10 minutes on your lunch break and you do some poses, or um, you find, you know, some videos that you like for free on YouTube, or, you know, you download an app or something. There's a lot of technology advances that can help you do a little bit of yoga, even if it's just like 10 minutes a day. And I just want to leave off with some simple poses. I'm, I'm not going to have the space to kind of get up and show you the poses here um, today, but if you head on over to the blog at stephanieclaremont.com and you um, check out this article on yoga, um, then 
then you can uh, read more about the actual poses. But some of the poses that when we were doing our research and our connecting yoga to digestive health that we think might be most beneficial for IBS are um, things like downward facing dog, which is a classic pose, cobra, which is where you're kind of lying on your stomach and have your hands up and are kind of stretching your core up towards the sun. Um, and also happy baby, which is one of my favorite for, it's like a hip opener. So that one you're kind of on your back and your feet are in your hands. Now this kind of looks like I'm very flexible, but <laughs> you can do yoga at your own pace as long as you have proper formation. So I would recommend a few classes if you're very new to yoga, just to understand how to do the poses in proper formation. You don't have to be super flexible. You can just kind of reach, you know, as far as you can in your poses, um, you know, they are definitely going to really, really have a huge impact, I think, on your digestive health. So definitely check out the blog post at stephanieclaremont.com uh, for the poses and understanding them a little bit more. And I will see you in another episode of The Relief Report. Bye for now.